Well, we have talked about those seven layers. Now we can look at the network devices. The devices that can be used for networks. How do we define network devices? These are, these are simply the hardware components that are used to connect and manage devices in a network. So we have the following network devices, which is one, the repeater, two, the hub, bridges, routers, as well as switches, and gateway. So to start with, we'll look at the description of the repeater. A repeater operates at the physical layer, extends the transmission distance by regenerating a signal inside the same network before it gets too weak or damaged. The signal is not amplified by repeaters. Rather, they copy and recreate it bit by bit, returning it to its initial power. The hub. Similar to the connectors in a star topology that connect numerous stations, a hub is effectively a multi-port repeater that links several wires from various branches. Bridges. Similar to a repeater, a bridge is a networking device that links two LAN segments. However, in contrast to a repeater, a bridge filters out an electrical interference signals before forwarding complete and accurate frames to the other section. We have the routers. These are switch-like devices, root data packets according to their IP addresses. I'm sure you have heard of Wi-Fi router, MiFi router. So, the routing decisions are made by routers, which typically connect runs and ones. Using a routine table that is dynamically updated. The switch. A switch is a type of multi-port bridge with a buffer that is designed to enhance its efficiency and performance by reducing network traffic. Gateway. From the word itself, a gateway is simply a passageway that connects two networks, which may use various networking methods as its name suggests. They perform the function of messengers who convey data from one system to another after interpreting it.